Hey guys, welcome to Rex Finance and video number three on this channel. And to celebrate video number three, we're going to be going through three stocks to buy May 2020 edition. So make sure you guys go leave a like down below and leave a comment what stocks you're buying in May. But before we get into the video, I just want to say a massive thank you for all the support you guys have shown me on my first two videos. It's been unbelievable. I couldn't have asked for anything else, especially with transitioning my channel from a gaming channel to a finance channel. That being said, my YouTube analytics say 90% of my finance viewers are not subscribed. What? So hit the dang subscribe button if you're new here or returning. And in fact, if you're new, I want to know. If you're truly not subscribed, I want to know. Leave me a comment down below and then I'm going to have a bone to pick with you if you don't hit that subscribe button. So May is going to be a very, very interesting month for the economy. We could get opened up again across America or we could get shut down even further. In fact, there's some states that are starting to ease tensions and there's others that are still on complete lockdown. So we'll just have to see what happens with the economy. So bottom line, now is going to be a great time to invest, especially if we see another market dip. But don't worry, if we don't see another market dip, I've sure picked these three stocks to perform in any scenario. And one last thing before we get into the actual video, I was on a stock market show. And if you guys want to go watch that, I'm leaving a link down in the description. It was a pretty good show, pretty informative. I think you guys would love it. So go check that out. And the first stock is one that might surprise you, but the three stocks I picked for May 2020 aren't just stocks you would see Jeremy pick or other finance YouTubers. I really went in depth to find these companies and present them to you today. So with that being said, the first one you might have guessed, it's on the screen right there, is Sirius XM. You might be surprised by this one, but let me give you my bullish thesis on this stock. As you see, over the past month, it's up almost 23%. They recently had an earnings announcement, uh, I think it was Tuesday of this week, and they blew estimates out of the water. They beat EPS earnings per share by two cents. Five cents were expected, and they had seven cents per earnings per share. Revenue numbers barely beat, but overall there's really bullish sentiment around SiriusXM stock. Now if you didn't know, they actually own Pandora. They acquired them last year and actually turned them into a profitable business for them. Now, I don't know if you guys still listen to Pandora or not, but I sure do, and I love Pandora, so yeah, that's a plug. You Spotify listeners, I got a bone to pick with you. Anyways, that's not the only bullish thesis I have for Sirius XM. They're one of the few companies that over the past 10 years have actually produced their investors a positive return on investment. Every single year over the last 10 plus years, they're one of the few companies that has in increased their stock price. In fact, way back then, they were actually a penny stock and they haven't done any stock splits whatsoever and they're up to almost $6 a share again. Now, I used to invest in this company last year and I actually sold out around $6.18, but it continued on its way up to $7.40. And I truly believe SiriusXM still has a lot of room to run. This stock should really be valued between $8 and $10 per share. In fact, Warren Buffett himself invests in the company. That's kind of what introduced me to this stock. So, as I was saying, the Pandora situation wasn't the only bullish thesis I had for SiriusXM. Last quarter, they announced they wrote SoundCloud a check for $75 million in exchange for a minority stake in their company. Now, this might seem not important to you guys, but what you don't realize is they did the same thing for Pandora back in the day. They bought a minority stake in Pandora originally, and then a few years down the road, they actually bought Pandora outright. I think this is a very similar situation here with SiriusXM. I believe SoundCloud will eventually be a SiriusXM company. So I don't know if you guys have experienced this or not, but I sure have. In my hometown, there are so many people that want to be the next big sensation rapping. And that's where SoundCloud comes in. Every single one of them uses SoundCloud's platform and buys their subscription service. So I truly believe SoundCloud is making money and they're, and they're going to continue to make money and grow their revenues each quarter. SoundCloud isn't publicly traded, but that doesn't really matter. I believe SiriusXM will eventually acquire them 100% of their company and realize their revenues and incomes in SiriusXM's earnings statements. So in addition to that, there are also rumors that SiriusXM could potentially merge or acquire iHeartRadio. I'm sure everybody's heard of iHeartRadio, 
And there's also rumors that they will either acquire or merge with Live Nation. Live Nation is a stock that Mark Cuban is heavily invested in as well. So I really, really like the bullish thesis on Sirius XM stock right now. As you can see, I have almost $3,000 invested in this company. I entered the stock about two weeks ago and I've made $300 on the stock so far. But like I said, I believe this stock has plenty of room to run. They pay a small dividend, but it's only 0.9% yield. But they also have a massive share buyback program that returns capital to investors. They are really, really focused on creating shareholder value, which is what I really look for in companies I invest in. So my second stock pick for you guys for May 2020 is Raytheon Technologies. A lot of you may not know what this company is, but they're in the defense sector. They recently converted their merger with United Technologies Corporation, ticker symbol was UTC I believe, and this combined company is going to be very powerful. In fact, they recently signed a contract and deal with the Air Force. Now what that means, why that is big is because that means every other defense company out there didn't sign that contract, didn't get that deal, but Raytheon Technologies did. So Raytheon Technologies is trading for about $65 per share today. I haven't gotten into this stock quite yet, but I'm still eyeing it. I'm really eyeing it if it ever gets to $60 per share. But as you can see, this company really hasn't recovered from the market downturn in March. I have the three month chart up here and they are still massively down. In fact, before the market downturn, they were worth upwards of $150 per share. Another reason I really like this company is because they pay another dividend like SiriusXM. But this dividend is a much higher yield at about 4.5%. Another bullish thesis for this company is that I believe tensions between countries are only going to rise. Things seem surprisingly calm right now when it comes to war tensions. And the main reason I think tensions might rise is because of economic fallout. So Raytheon Technologies recently completed the merger with United Technologies Corporation. They haven't recovered from the dip yet. They're one of the few companies that really hasn't recovered from the dip, which makes it very attractive to me. They're part of the defense sector, and they signed a deal with the Air Force recently, and they have a decent dividend. I really like Raytheon Technologies and expect me to get involved with the stock, especially if we see another big market downturn. So my last company for you guys today is Stitch Fix. Now I believe Stitch Fix is going to heavily benefit from this economic situation. Things are going to move online. Our old normal is not going to be the normal after this situation ends. I believe e-commerce is the future. We've seen Amazon do it over the years and I really think Stitch Fix could get to that level where they're the go-to e-commerce store for clothing for all individuals. So Stitch Fix is trading for around $16 a share and this one I really, really want to start investing in. This was almost a $30 stock before the big market downturn. So their share price has almost been cut in half. So if you guys want a big return on your money, I believe this stock actually belongs in the $40 per share level. And I believe by the end of May, as long as we don't see a huge market downturn, I believe the stock will be almost back to $30 a share. The reason I like Stitch Fix so much is because, like I mentioned, it is an online retailer. You get to personalize your clothing, and it's a company for all demographics, not just females. They treat men, women, and kids, and that is big. Stitch Fix has big growth capabilities heading into May and the rest of the year. They will release their earnings towards the end of May or early in June, and I believe they're going to have great numbers. So those are my three companies for May 2020. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you guys leave a like. Also, comment down below if you are going to invest in any of these companies. If this video was helpful, also let me know that. If you guys are new here or returning and have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. And please feel free to share this video with your friends and family that are interested in investing some money this coming May. Make sure you guys go check out my two previous videos. I think you guys will really enjoy them. One of them is about Warren Buffett and his huge cash position. And the other is about Jeremy and whether an individual investor can actually affect stock price like we've seen in NAT stock.
So there will be a card up here for one of them, and both of them we link down in the description. Also on my end screen, there will be the two videos and a subscribe button in the middle. Make sure you guys for sure hit that subscribe button, and also check out one of the other two videos if you haven't seen them yet. With that guys, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.